Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Tuesday over here in the Atlantic. We only have really one feature that we're keeping our eyes on here today. This is the tropical wave right now in the Northwest Caribbean that was back here east of the Antilles Islands last week that we were talking about. It had a well-defined circulation here, and then when it moved into the Eastern and Central Caribbean, it hit that dead zone that we talk about with strong trade winds that makes it hard for tropical waves to amplify, and this destroyed the surface circulation as it came across the Northern Caribbean and for the last couple of days it hasn't looked so great over the weekend development chances looked like they were plummeting down to near zero as this was coming across and did not look like it was going to be much of a development candidate and i was talking about last week that conditions in the upper levels aren't going to be all that uh, great with the big ridge of the United States shearing from the east and then a couple of upper troughs near the Caribbean weren't going to make conditions perfect over the Caribbean for this system to try to develop. However, I mentioned that it should be watched and it has indeed remained a fighter as it came across the Caribbean and now in the Northwest Caribbean over last night and this morning it's been developing more of a concentrated area of convection in more of a ball region which is something we'd like to see if this is going to try to do anything. If we zoom in a little bit on this, I'm sorry I can't get this loop closer for you guys, but this is um, what we're seeing here. It's been reinstated as Invest 90L. It was decommissioned and now resurrected by the NHC. Notice the ball of convection again developing down here south of the Isle of Youth. One key thing to notice in this image is see these trade winds racing out of the east-southeast here to the east and southeast of the system, but then see where these winds are coming out right in here the surface winds are very very light they're not moving very fast at all meaning that all this wind is piling into this area and then it's not going anywhere afterwards well to be correct it is going somewhere it's going upward it's not coming out the other side here and continuing on into the Gulf of Mexico it's moving upwards in the atmosphere and condensating into all these thunderstorms that you see here in the Northwest Caribbean so there's a net piling up of air and this is a great situation for things to happen in the Northwest Caribbean because the waters in here are extremely warm the warmest waters in the Atlantic Basin are found right in here and there are bleeding north northeast winds at this buoy in the Northwest Caribbean and we we can see that the pressures are lowering in the Northwest Caribbean at this buoy steadily since yesterday and they will probably continue to fall today. We'll be watching to see how far they do fall. They're down to 1,010, 1,011 millibars here within the diurnal cycles and it will be interesting to see how low this gets. Cuba radar here doesn't quite get the western side of the circulation. The ball of convection is south of the Isle of Youth here but there is some rotation evident if, an, if the loop is fast enough for anyone to see in here. There is a little bit of rotation shown on this radar, but there's not a whole lot of coverage here for us to see what's exactly going on under this ball under this ball of convection. There is a radar station on the Isle of Youth, but it is down as a lot of the Cuban radar stations typically are at times. Now here's a, there's a couple of issues with this system. Although it looks rather nice this morning and has a little bit of rotation, looks like it has more of a chance now, it is going to be running into some problems. Now as we look at the situation currently in the upper atmosphere, we have to look at one more thing on the satellite image. Notice these cirrus clouds streaming out of the west-northwest here on the southern side of the system. There is a little bit of wind shear here as these upper winds are coming out of the west and what we typically like to see is the, see the cirrus is streaming off to the north here on the north side of the system, we'd like to see the cirrus doing this on the southern side of the system, indicating a nice high pressure system aloft. However, the winds are coming out of the west, indicating some shearing because there's an upper trough that is elongated over the southern Gulf of Mexico here from east of Florida, and this is bringing some westerly winds on the south side here. And there is a little bit of warm air aloft associated with this convection that's bringing a little bit of a pocket of low wind shear and upper level high pressure near and northeast of Invest 90. L, which is allowing it to develop that convection, but this trough is impinging close upon it. Now, what's going to happen is that as convection fires here, uh, 90L's chance of having a development window will be throwing enough heat at this trough to make it split off. This upper low is going to continue west southwest and it's going to throw this heat in here and try to develop this ridging. The problem is that it'll be running into this jet stream to the south of this upper level high pressure ridge 
over the southern United States, which is shearing the Gulf of Mexico out of the east. Now, if it can throw enough heat at this ridge, it will split away this trough and allow an air fairly light upper level winds to develop over the central Gulf of Mexico and have it, in a sense, kind of merge with this ridge as it comes west northwest across the Gulf over the next few days. However, it's going to be hard to do that. It's going to have to throw a lot of heat at that ridge, and upper level conditions are only going to be marginal, probably at best, as it comes across here. We have seen waves develop and worse. We've seen far worse conditions and still had development occur. But the point is that explosive development here and intensification is probably not likely despite the warm water and the fact that it is firing some convection. Now if we go over to the MJO we can see that it's in quadrant, not quadrant, octant 5 here which indicates downward motion over the Atlantic basin. This is another factor that's kind of against an IDL's development. We can see that the overall convective activity in the Atlantic tropics here is fairly low and that's because we have sinking air in general over our area of the world and the forecast is for this to reverse over time here eventually getting back into octants one and two as we head into August and the Cape Verde season starts to light up we're gonna start seeing activity come in earnest as we get into the heart of the season so overall with this system we have 90L in the Northwest Caribbean that we will be watching. This will be coming west-northwest in general towards southern Texas and northeast Mexico, somewhere in this area in a couple of days, probably Thursday and Friday. We'll be looking for it in the western Gulf, trying to make some landfall in here. If it falls apart in the Gulf, expect a few showers in here. Might bring some relief to southern Texas, but not a whole lot. If it's going to bring a lot of rain, it's probably going to need to develop. And it looks nice right now. We'll be encountering less favorable conditions as it heads northwest, and it will struggle. But there is a chance, cannot rule out the possibility of a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm dawn as it comes across the Gulf of Mexico. So this wave will have to be watched. As I mentioned when it was back here, it's going to be a troublemaker as it comes across, and we need to be watched, and we will be watching it as it moves this way as we can see that it is causing some eyebrows to get raised over here in the Northwest Caribbean. And we'll be watching a couple of other waves as they come across and follow behind, but none of them are an immediate threat for development right now at this time. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.